Central Luzon, known as Region 3, is composed of seven provinces, namely Aurora, Bataan, Bulacan, Pampanga, Nueva Ecija, Tarlac, and Zambales. The region produces most of the country's rice supply, specifically the Nueva Ecija, which is dubbed as the rice bowl of the Philippines or rice granary of the Philippines. About 30% of the total land area, estimated at 644,475 hectares, is devoted to agricultural production. However, it is not just about the economic contribution that Central Luzon can be proud of. There are so many tourist destinations where the region shines. In this video, let's explore the largest plain of the nation by looking at some of its breathtaking tourist spots. Welcome to Better Every Day, your source of information in matters of self-improvement, health, motivation, and self-help. Hello and nice to see you again. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you can be updated with the latest videos which might be of help to your self-improvement. Zubik Safari Aside from Manila Zoo, most wild animals can only be seen on television, but not anymore. Located at Zubik Bay Freeport Zone in Zambales Province, Zubik Safari gives you a chance to encounter wonderful animals up close. It is a 25-hectare forest adventure park that is home to hundreds of species from all over the world as well as the country's first and only tiger safari in the Philippines. The zoo contains many interaction opportunities for visitors. Not only does it house two safari tours, but as well as a petting zoo, feeding zone, and numerous observation areas too. In this real-life jungle, you can find diverse animals like deer, wild boars, monkeys, and you can view animals at close range, which includes camels, an otter, and tiger. Sabang Beach With its long stretch of gray sand beach and fantastic waves, Sabang Beach is considered the birthplace of surfing in the Philippines. It is the most visited tourist spot in Belair Aurora because of its towering waves that could reach up to 14 feet during peak surfing season. Sabang Beach is also good for swimming, plus it has several resorts and guest houses offering lodging. Food trips are common since grills, restaurants, and bars are available along the road and beach side. If you're a party goer, visit the northern half of the Sabang Beach because it has a good hangout place with the presence of hostels and beautiful hotels. Puning Hot Springs Puning Hot Springs is a wellness site that is surrounded by flourishing foliage. Located in Barangay Sapang Bato, Angela City, Pampanga. A 4x4 vehicle takes you from the jump-off station at Barangay Sapang Bato. Along the way, you can enjoy the picturesque and scenic landscape formed by the lahar of the volcano. Visitors can relax by taking a therapeutic dip in one of their 11 natural hot springs or two heated pools. The facility also has a sand spa where visitors can cover themselves with hot sand using mud made from Mount Pinatubo, a treatment that is said to be good for your joints. Casa Real Shrine Casa Real Shrine is one of the most visit historical sites in Malolo City, Bulacan. It was built in 1580 and served as the seat of the government of the town of Malolos during the Spanish and American occupation. Throughout the duration of the First Philippine Republic, this shrine served as a national printing press and the National Museum. In 1852, 
it was converted into a municipal library. At present, it is a museum under the management of the National Historical Institute. The museum consists of relics from the First Philippine Republic, memorabilia of General Emilio Aguinaldo, the furnitures of first-class families of Manolos, old books, stamps, paper money, and coins are also displayed in the shrine. Mount Pinatubo Mount Pinatubo discharged millions of tons of sulfur dioxide in the air on June 1991. Considered as one of the most catastrophic volcanic eruption in the recent years. Today, it is regarded as one of the major mountaineering destinations in the Philippines. Mount Pinatubo is also good for hiking. To see its magnificent crystal clear waters of the crater lake, you have to ride the 4x4 or an ATV. It might be tiring, but it will all be worth it once you saw the serene, silent colored crater lake on a gray-brown crater, a beauty that covers its tragic past. The lake is located near the boundaries of Pampanga, Tarlac, and Zambales. No further than three hours away from Metro Manila, you can explore its natural beauty in one day. Stand in awe once you see the Mount Pinatubo, the beautiful disaster. Minalongao Park Minalongao originated from the words Mina, which means mine, and Longao, meaning cave. The rock formations are truly marvelous with its vibrant colors. There's a lot of activities here such as bamboo rafting, caving, diving, hiking, kayaking, swimming in the river, trekking to the cross of 1,000 steps, and ziplining in which you'll get the chance to experience the bird's view of the pristine waters of the Sumakbao River. The park is located in the municipality of General Tinio, Nova Ecija. It has a total land area of 2,018 hectares and called as the hidden paradise and mythical eco-adventure destination in Nova Ecija. Las Casas de Filipinas de Acozar Located in Bagak, Bataan, Las Casas de Filipinas de Acozar is a spectacular resort. It is a resorted piece of history that features a Zajeri Acozar's collection of Filipino and Spanish-era antique mansions. In 2009, it was transformed into a luxury accommodation. The historic houses were transported brick by brick to the Bagak site and were rebuilt at the grounds of Las Casas. For parts that were missing, Las Casas craftsmen replicated the original structure. Known as Bahay na Bato, the resort's collection of colonial buildings were chosen for the authenticity of their cultural, historical, and architectural features. The resort is just a short drive away from countless cultural attractions such as the famous Mount Samuel Shrine. Several towns and cities are also a few miles away, including Subic and Dilongapo City. Anzap Twin Falls The Anzap, ASEAN New Zealand Forestation Project, is one of the most visited tourist spots in Tarlac, concealed in the mountainous part of the province. It is 200 feet waterfalls, which is the pot of gold after a 6-hour trek. Hikers go through two legs of trekking before reaching the Anzac Falls. Leg 1 begins at the barangay Nambalan Mayantok in Tarlac, and ends in the campsite that leads to the waterfalls. After the exhausting hike, Anzac Waterfalls is a sight to behold. Once there, you can go for a swim or just relax in the scenery. The misty and tranquil falls are worth the climb. How about you? Do you have any suggestions that you can add to the list? 
you can write in the comments section below so we can also learn from you. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. That's all for now. Goodbye!